What's up guys, we're back for our last devotion in Ephesians, as you can tell, um, not wearing a hockey jersey, it's summertime out, it's too hot for that, so I went with the soccer jersey, uh, JC, I hope you appreciate that, uh, I know some of you other guys like soccer too, so we're going to jump into Ephesians, we're going to wrap it up today, uh, sort of at the very end, so I'm going to dig into that a little bit, uh, and explain something that, that we see uh, in church a lot. And at the end of this uh, devotion, I'm going to go into some of the plans we have moving forward for the rest of the summer. Uh, so let's pray, and then we'll jump right into it. Father, we thank you that you are powerful, Lord, that your word speaks to us. Even in uh, the end of letters uh, in the Bible, we know that your word matters and is good for teaching. So we pray that you would be with us as we study this, whether we're watching this on the day it's released, or if we watch this uh, sometime in the future, we pray that you would bless uh, us through reading your word. We love you. It's your son's name we pray. Amen. All right, so let's jump into it. We're in Ephesians chapter 6, and we're going to look over uh, verses 21 through 24. So since it's so short, I'll go ahead and read it this time, so you guys don't even have to pause the video. So this is Paul. He says, so that you also may know how I am and what I'm doing, uh, Tychicus, the beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, will tell you everything. I have sent him with you for this very purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. Peace be to the brothers and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all who love our Lord Jesus Christ with love incorruptible. Very good. So what I want to talk about today, uh, this is the end of Paul's letter, and that's what's known as a benediction. Uh, and you might recognize that word because at the end of all our church services, Pastor John or whoever's preaching also gives a benediction. This is like a, a final blessing uh, from, in this case Paul, on Sundays from Pastor John, to the recipients. In this case, the Ephesians. In our case, us, right, when we hear it. Uh, and that's language that we're not always familiar with, the idea of, of a blessing. So a lot of times it sounds like it might just be a request, so it might sound like, um, like, like if I do it, I know sometimes I say may. So I, I put that at the beginning, so I, may God like bless you. So I was like, oh, Travis is hoping that God blesses us when we hear that. But that's not what I should do. What I should say is, is straight from Scripture that God will bless us. So in this case, uh, Paul is conferring peace onto the brothers and sisters in Ephesus. And he's doing that because that's in accordance with God's Word. So he's not uh, just pulling this out of thin air and thinking, hey, you know what would be cool? If I could just confer blessings of, I don't know, whatever the newest... Uh, chariot was on all the, the Ephesians, right? No, he's not going to do that. Just like Pastor John isn't going to confer the blessing of Ferraris onto us, as cool as that would be, right? That's not what he's going to do. He's going to uh, put the blessing of peace, uh, the peace of Christ on us. So here, peace to the brothers and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, and grace be with all of you. Uh, so when Paul says this, he is not describing reality, just like Pastor John isn't describing reality, uh, but he's speaking it into what's going to happen. And that's within God's nature, so it's totally fine for Pastor John to do this. So in the same way, right, if we say, like, oh, God bless you, or we're saying, like, not you just sneeze and I want to be polite, but we're saying, like, oh, we want God uh, to give you faith, to, to look on you favorably, um, without merit, right? So we don't do anything to deserve it. We want God uh, to be over you, to be in your life. So that's what we're doing. And one last note on what we see here in Ephesians. Uh, he wraps up talking about love, right? Love between uh, the brothers, right, and sisters. Love between God the Father and, and the believers. And love between the Father and the Son. Uh, which is fitting because he talks about that same love throughout 
the book of Ephesians. So this is a great way to wrap it up. And Paul ends this letter sending that, sending his love. Um, one side note, not super relevant, but I know a lot of you guys are nervous to read. I have no idea how to say Tychicus. So hopefully you're not afraid to, uh, to read out loud either. Anyways, I had a couple of announcements now that we're done. Actually, let's pray first. Father, we thank you that you love us. We thank you uh, for this blessing that Paul gave the Ephesians and that we receive uh, at the end of our church service every week. We pray uh, that we too would be at peace with one another, uh, that we would love one another in the church uh, in Chestnut Mountain, but also within the, the church globally, and really that we would love uh, all of our neighbors, whether we agree with them uh, politically, whether we agree with them in some of their life choices, or whether we uh, cheer for different football teams or, or whatever. We pray that we would love our neighbor in a deep way. God, help us do that. We love you, and it's your son's name we pray. Amen. All right, now for the announcements. We're doing things a little bit differently this coming Wednesday and all Wednesdays henceforth. It's a fancy way to say the rest of the summer. Uh, we're actually going to meet at Platt Park. Sarah, Dean, and I will get there at 4.30 on Wednesday. Uh, we want you guys to join us. You can come at 4.30. We'll try to play some games six feet apart. Uh, I would guess Mafia will be played because every time we get together, we play that. Uh, and then we'll start teaching at 6.30. So I'm on this Wednesday, right? I'm going to teach through one of the Psalms. Uh, but we'll be able to get together, we'll be able to see each other, we'll be able to air high five each other, right, from six feet apart. It'll be great. I uh, hope you can make it. Uh, younger siblings, older siblings, whatever, everybody's welcome because obviously they can't just go to uh, another room because we're at Platt Park. If you don't know where Platt Park is, it's two and a half minutes from the church, depending on how you drive. It should be two and a half minutes or more. If you can get there in less than that, slow down. Don't do that. Uh, but meet us there at 4.30. If you have any questions, shoot me a text, shoot me an email. Uh, talk to Sarah. Uh, I guess you could talk to Dean. This actually might be news to Dean. He, he's been on vacation. He might not know we're doing this. But talk to one of us. We'll answer your questions. Uh, I can't wait to see you. Uh, they've got like a baseball field. We might play kickball. Um, pickleball, I think. It's, it's like uh, tennis for tiny people. Uh, anyways, there's lots of stuff to do there. We can, we can keep our distance. Uh, even if it's raining, we'll still be there because there's a pavilion. You don't get wet under a pavilion. And even if it does rain inside the pavilion, it'll be worth it to see you guys. I don't mind getting a little bit of rain on. So that's that. That's the big announcement. Also, it's not too late to sign up for the Summer Bible Reading Challenge. And actually, you don't even have to sign up. You just have to read your Bible. Uh, so we sent that link out to your parents last week. I think it might be on Instagram. Uh, I would love to do that with you. Um, you could read it all Saturday and Sunday if you wanted to and, and be ready for the second week. So uh, get in the Word this summer. Read something good. It's a great way to do it. Uh, and I'm reading it. So if you have any questions over what you read, shoot me a text. I'd love to answer it. Uh, that being said, the prayer prompt is to pray for Kenya, I believe. So we've got, we've got missionaries over there. Uh, and the question for the day is what is the coolest place you've ever been? Not like the coldest place, although you can answer that if you want to. Uh, but what's your favorite place that you've ever been? Let us know. Love to hear it. Um, yeah. So hopefully we'll see you guys Wednesday. If not, we'll still record it. We'll still put it up. Uh, anyways, stay safe. Know that we're praying for you. And hopefully we'll see you guys soon.